There is the harsh truth about educational videos. The slides that you use in a conference room will flop gloriously when you try to use them for your videos. Let me explain. In a conference room, you typically show a slide like this and talk over the bullet points. But when you try to do this on a video, your audience will instantly bail out. There are two reasons for it. The first one is the static visual problem and the second one is information overload. Let's talk about the static visual problem. All of us consume videos these days and that applies to your audience too. One of the key things that holds the attention of your audience in a video is the change of scene. When there is no change in scene, your audience will lose their attention. Don't believe? Here is a pop quiz. How many times do you think scenes change in a typical 15 second video advertisement? Here is the answer. Yes, every one and a half seconds, the scenes change in a typical video advertisement to hook the audience. That is the level of visual stimulation that we demand these days when we watch videos. Now to that audience, when you show a static slide like this and keep talking over the bullet points, do you think they will continue to watch your video? No chance. Now the second issue, which is the information overload. When you show a static slide like this with a lot of text, your audience gets overwhelmed with too much information all at once. Now, there is one simple solution that allows you to solve both the problems in one go. The solution is to chunk things down and present them in stages. Now, let me show you how I would present if I were to show the same information in a video. First, this is what I'll show on a slide. Take a look at this. There is no indication that this is a typical PowerPoint slide. There is no slide title. There are no bullet points. Just one small piece of text in one corner and the entire space is vacant and therefore the audience is curious to know what is going to come here and therefore they continue to pay attention. Then I say, our strategy for market penetration is built on three essential sequential phases. Now observe, there is already a change of scene. There is something new for the audience to see and there is not too much information that is shown to them. Then I say, the first phase is deep dive analysis. Here we pinpoint the exact people we want, their pain points and their headaches. Then we tear into the competition's messaging to find the exact gap where we can fit into. Now pay close attention to the text I have on my slide. They are not full sentences, they are just keywords. And also notice I'm not repeating whatever is already there on the slide. I'm explaining the keywords in my own way so it all flows naturally. Let me continue. Once we have that data, the second phase is product refinement. We integrate the needs that we found in phase one straight into the product. Crucially, we also conduct beta testing and get real practical feedback before the public ever sees it. I hope you're noticing how I'm explaining the keywords in a simple, casual way. Let me continue. The final phase is the launch. We take all that deep data from the previous two phases for our laser-focused segmented marketing and we continuously monitor our conversion rates to optimize the marketing spend. Now compare this slide with this slide and you can see the difference. So the next time you are tempted to use a slide like this for your video, remember the two big problems that I talked about, the static visual problem and the information overload. So Take the time to chunk everything down into small individual pieces and show the information in stages so you can hold the audience's attention throughout. Now, how does this all work in a technical presentation? I've given you the answer right here in a practical example. So click on the link that you see right now on your screen, watch that video to see a makeover of a technical presentation in a simple visual way. I'll see you in the next video.